Indian voodoo. Okay, so why is there a guy on your screen talking about Indian voodoo? We've got the likes of Bukyo, Najar, Karunoro, and you know, it's uh, nine days lockdown. So where's all the ghosts? Where are they gonna go? You see what I'm saying? So why are we talking about this? It's because these kind of things, they do come up quite a lot amongst Indian cultures. They say, oh, there's something wrong with my kid. Oh, it's not ADHD, no, 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 no. It's a ghost in my kid. Oh, my, my daughter's got a stomachache. It can't be anxiety. No, 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 it wouldn't be that. It's book show. Let's get the salt. Let's get something out. Let's get this sorted type of thing. Let's go to the weird looking Marcy down the road and then she'll throw some red beans at me type of thing, whatever it is. Is this real or is it fake? From my tone of voice, you're probably thinking, I think it's fake. No, no, I can't go down that route. Everyone has their own stories. Uh, family has a story coming down from generations. Whatever your belief system is, there's a reason you've got that belief system. But I'm gonna throw something out there to say, if there's a belief system to say, something this bad has happened to me, there's also a belief system to say, something this strong can help me. If you believe in God, whether you believe in saints, Whoever you believe in, there must be something strong enough to overcome your belief to say something really bad has happened to my family. On this concept of belief system, we choose what direction we go with this. Always choose the more productive, the more positive mindset. The whole concept goes back to in the Ramayana, was there any of this black magic? In the Mahabharata, the biggest story ever, was there any of this? There wasn't. Why did this come into my family all of a sudden if it hasn't happened to the biggest stories in the past? Nothing should be able to leave someone in a stuck position to the point where they believe no one can help me. Oh no, this has happened to me. I can't be helped. No, it's just it's just bigger powers. I can't I can't help myself now. Everything's all ruined. Since that one day, everything's just gonna go bad. Let's not go down this path, people. There is resources that could help you, especially on the mental health. If someone's got anxiety, they've got anxiety, let's help them on that topic. If someone is suffering some form of ADHD, some sort of depression, help them on that level to say this is what they need. Do not anchor it down to any belief system because this is what goes on to the next generation. Now the next generation, you don't want them feeling powerless to getting help. You don't want them thinking, okay, no, this is just my future now. This is just who I am because we are more likely to accept things because it came from a parent. Now this topic, fair enough, is a funky topic. It is various levels of belief and various people. As a psychologist, I always come across this. I'll go into an Indian family, you'll say this is wrong. No matter how much we help them, they keep anchoring down to the fact that there's a bigger power manipulating them to the core. Now, if you can get this video shared out, I would really appreciate it. There is people that just need to start focusing on the right things and then start being productive and working their way up back into life and regaining themselves. No matter how big of a belief it is from the family, no matter how big of a, of a little way down it could be on your mind to say, no, no, I'm, I'm, I'm stuck for the rest of my life. All of these things, you work towards the right thing and you get to where you need to get to. Hope you enjoyed the video, everybody. Thank you for watching.